Good morning, mathematicians. Today we will be reviewing math objectives K.10a and b. I can identify and describe plane figures, those flat 2D shapes of circle, triangle, square, and rectangle. I can compare the size, smaller or larger, and the shape of those plane figures. If you'd like to participate along today, you're going to need um, a piece of paper and pencil or a whiteboard and marker. Um, and also a camera on a cell phone or a tablet or just on your regular computer. So let's see, we're gonna be focusing on two of our plane figures or 2D shapes. Um, this poster should look a little bit familiar. We did something like this in our classroom. We had one for each of our shapes. Today, we are going to be reviewing this shape, the square, and we're going to be reviewing the circle right here. Okay, all right. So specifically with the square, we know that a square has how many sides? Four sides, very good. And what makes a square different than a rectangle is all four of those sides are the same length. Now, because it's got four sides, a square also has four vertices, good, or corners, um, and we know that those vertices are very sharp, and sometimes we say, ouch, because that's where two sides come together and make that vertex, and when there's more than one vertex, we call it a vertices. So here are some examples, just some drawings, um, but we're going to be finding some examples around um, our homes today. So an example of a square in your home or classroom would be a TV, if it's a square. Make sure it's not a rectangle. Um, perhaps a computer. And then SpongeBob Square Pants, right? It's in his name. Examples of circles that have zero sides. Remember, it's made of a curved line. And because it doesn't have any sides, it also has zero vertices, no short, sharp corners on a circle. So some examples that you might find in a classroom or at your house would be a clock, perhaps a ball, and then a drawing of a sun. Now, I went back and looked at some photographs that we had from our classroom when we did our own shape hunt. And these are some of our friends who found circles within our classroom. So here we have Alexandra. She's pointing to the circle that's on your numbers from your book basket. Yeah. And here we have Mia. Mia's found a little circle, a little tiny circle, on the ear of a mouse in one of our Write the Room cards. Emily found a circle in one of the crates. Anywhere, right? Tristan found a picture of a basketball. Luke spy eyes. Look at that. He found a whole container <laughs> of circles. <laughs> Those cheese balls, right? <gasps> and then our buddy Caden here is pointing to, it looks like a picture of a button. Yeah. And even the holes in that round circle button are little tiny circles. He's got like five circles in one object. Great. All right. So today we're going to try something a little bit different you are going to um, be going on a shape hunt around your house today. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to have you go on a shape hunt with me around my house today. So I've got to figure out how to switch cameras because I'm going to switch you to my cell phone so that I can show you some examples of circles and then squares around my house. I have some paper ones to help me remember. Here's my circle. And then I've also got a square. And I'm gonna be looking for these plain figures around my house today. All right.
All right, friends. So once you're in Seesaw, you're going to find math activity 4.4, math, shapes, circle, and square. That's the two that we're going to focus on today. You're going to click add response, find your name and icon. On page number one, you want to select the hand or the move tool, and you are going to sort each one of these drawings or pictures at the bottom. You're going to sort them if they are circles in this box, and if they are squares, they go in this box. Remember, circles have one curved line and no vertices. Your square is going to have four sides that are all the same and one oh, two ouch, three ouch, four sharp vertices. Okay, so we've got like a Scrabble tile, a picture frame, looks like some cabinet doors. Oh, oh, that's a piece of chocolate. I think that's some chocolate. A button, a ball, a clock, a slice of cheese, a tire, an emoji, a pizza, a quilt, and a game board, a checker game board. You're gonna sort these out. Once you've uh, finished sorting on page two, this is where you are going to go and do your own shape hunt around your house. To do this, you're gonna take your camera, whether it be on your phone or your tablet, and you're going to select the camera tool, and that will take a picture of the objects around your home. Now, if you are working on a computer, like this is a laptop computer, and it's not really a good idea to be carrying it around my house. So what you can do, is you can get a collection of things that are circles or squares, bring them to your computer, so you don't have to carry it, and then select the camera and just hold up your objects in front of the camera and take a picture of, say, a circle, or you've got a puzzle box here that is a square shape. So, like I said, please don't pick up your laptop and try walking around to take some pictures only take pictures with your um, cell phone or a tablet if you're going to walk around your house. Otherwise, get some of those things and bring them in front of your camera so that we don't break anything around the house. All right, I'm excited to see what kinds of things you can find in your home that are circles and squares. Don't forget to click the green check to submit your activity.